It is good that you salvaged as many Templars as you did, my dear. We will need every Templar, but they will require proper management. We also need to increase our Lyrium supplies considerably. The Chantry may still have stockpiles we can use. Cohen should be able to handle that. Cullen will look into it. He must already have a supply line. He undoubtedly did. But it was established before the Divine Conclave. The situation has changed. The breach has done more than disfigure the sky. The veil itself is broken. All mages, no matter how skilled, are now in danger of drawing demons to them. Before this crisis is over, you may find that Templars, flawed as they may be, are all that stand between us and chaos. Do you pose a risk? When you say mages are a danger, are you counting yourself? Of course I am, my dear. Every mage who joins the cause is taking a calculated risk, whether they know it or not. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. I agree with you. You're preaching to the choir, Vivian. Tell me something. You said once that you wanted to change things. What future would you build for mages? We need the circle back. The circle has to be restored if you want to keep the peace. That's comforting to hear, but you'll find opposition to the idea even among friends. It's something to consider, my dear. Now, that, that was an interesting choice, actually. Um, I wasn't sure between that and Mages should be free. But the Circle, I think Vivian pointed that out before, that the Circle is an idea um, and it's different everywhere. It has different rules, different limitations, and it can certainly be a place where Mages are being oppressed, but um, uh, there should be some sort of management of mages because again like Vivian said and like we've seen in the previous games mages can pose huge threats to everyone and there should be at least some form of monitoring the mages to make sure they're honing them uh, their skills and doing everything they possibly can to ensure that they avoid being possessed and so on so when I say the circle should be restored, I don't mean mages should be enslaved or something. It's just that they cannot be left to wander freely without any sort of guidance or any sort of training uh, that should be mandatory. And then, I don't know really, it's, it's a tough choice. It's a decision that has to be made very carefully and... Um, we should try and avoid having very definitive rules because there are a lot of gray areas in this matter. So it's certainly a complicated thing, but the truth is somewhere in the middle. It's not mages should be um, kept inside a tower for their entire lives. And it's also not that the mages can uh, decide not to be trained or not to learn how to control their powers, their, uh, to, to hone their skills, to resist demonic possession, to resist blood magic, and so on and so forth. <laughs>